Hey guys, what's up? This is Wife Boy from the Win, and today I decided that I'm going to be bringing a new series to the channel, which is called Why Mega Evolve. Now, what this series is basically going to be is that every week I'm going to be bringing you guys one Pokemon that I think that deserves a Mega Evolution, needs a Mega Evolution, or I want to have a Mega Evolution for. Okay, now this is all based on my opinion and my opinion alone. If you guys don't like my opinion, then please share your own thoughts in the comment section down below. And what would you change? about that Pokemon okay and at the end of each of um, one of these why mega evolved Pokemon episode things whatever you want to call it I'll be telling you guys which Pokemon is going to be coming next in the next part okay so yeah and with the new Pokemon games Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming out in November 2014 which is basically around six months away I decided that the first five Pokemon of the series is actually going to be Hoenn Pokemon and considering that Hoenn is my favorite generation of all time uh, What not to start it what a good way to start it with is Sceptile So let's just actually just get into okay guys. Well here is Mega Sceptile now I'm sorry if you can't read the red text I tried to make the picture as best as I can to where you guys can read it But like I said, I'm sorry about that now, I'm going to be going over it anyways, so if you guys can see it, then that's good for you. Now, anyways, I'm um, looking at its stats from regular Sceptile. Sceptile has a base stat of 530, okay? And when upon Mega Evolving, its new base stat will become 630. Now, every Mega Pokemon gets a good stat increase of base 100, so that's pretty good. And looking at um, Sceptile like it's not Mega Form, is basically known for its speed and special attack. Now, while upon Mega Evolving, its new stats will become 80, 100, 70, 135, 100, and 145. Okay, and let me repeat that. For, uh, in HP, it's from 70 to base 80, and attack base 85 to base 100, and defense base 65 to base 70, and special attack base 105 to base 135, special defense base 85 to base 100, and speed base 120 to base 145. So, the reason why I gave it those stat increases when upon Mega Evolving is because, like I said, regular Sceptile is basically known for its speed and special attack, and I decided to actually go with that and give it even higher special attack and higher speed so that Sceptile will become one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Well, Mega Sceptile. Um, so, um, giving it a good um, special attack and speed will be good. It will do a lot more damage. And giving it a little bit of good defense increase can actually make Sceptile live a couple of hits. Now, Sceptile is not known for being the bulkiest Pokemon. It's actually one of the frailest Pokemon in the game when using competitive battles. Now, giving it a stat increase from base 80 to 85 to base 100 in special defense can actually do good for it because um, it can actually live a couple of more hits than it would normally do when it's a normal uh, Sceptile. And its defense is crap still, so I only increased it by five because I gave it the new ability, Filter. Now, if you don't know what Filter does, it's actually an ability, which I believe uh, Mr. Mind gets. It's What it does is that it's like Solid Rock. It halves, um, Solid Rock basically halves the super effective attacks from Pokemon. And Filter's like that, but it reduces one fourth of super effective attacks. Now, giving um, Mega Sceptile that ability, it'll actually have a good chance of living a couple of uh, hits. So it will be become like, not the bulkiest, but it will become one of the, um, not bulkiest, what was I going to say? Um, it can actually live a couple of hits, that's all I can really say right now. And also, when a Palm Egg Evolving, it will get um, a new typing, which is Grass and Dragon. Now, if it gets a Dragon type characteristics, then Mega Sceptile will become the first ever Dragon Grass type Pokemon, I believe so. Okay, now with its weaknesses, well, not Mega Evolving, which is Ice, Fire, Poison, Bug, and Flying. Okay, now we'll get in the Dragon characteristics. The only thing that will be weak against Mega Sceptile will be Ice, Fairy, and Dragon. Well, Ice being four times effective and Fairy and Dragon becoming two times effective. Now, just becoming Grass type, just its only typing, it'll have five weaknesses, which it will be Ice, Fire, Poison, Bug, and Flying. Now, like I said, upon Mega Evolving, its new um, super effective 
types will become ice, fairy, and dragon. And fire, poison, bug, and flying will become neutral to its mega evolution because it's part dragon. And those moves ain't super effective towards dragons. So that's all I really got to say about Mega Sceptile. Now I know that I probably wasn't talking my best. I know I am sorry. Forgive me. But I'm still new to this. This is like my first episode, I guess you want to call it. I don't know what to call it yet. I'm probably going to call it episodes. So with that, thanks for watching. If you guys don't agree with the stat increases, its new ability, and its new typing, then please leave your own opinion in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this. Giving it a dragon type characteristics will be good for Mega Sceptile. And yeah, so like I said, thanks for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section down below your opinions in the comment section down below and this is white boy for the win and i'll catch you guys later oh almost forgot next week is going to be mega sableye that i'm going to be talking about next week so